Hi guys! Greetings from Russia and today we will look in at our project Nikolai. So you can see that we have two files. One is presentation but we need the one you can change which is called Nikolai ready for you. Nikolai is basically a puppet which you can move, drag and he can be an actor in your video. This character can move in any direction and use any uh, move. We take this hand for instance and just drag it with your mouse and you can lower it and, and drag your mouse in your desired direction. So you can see that Nikolai says hi. Hi Nikolai! And we can do it with everything. So as you can see I have some uh, presets, keyframes that he follows Everything is in order, and now let's see how it plays in action. Oh, it works really great! Nikolai is waving at us! Cool animation, top notch! Alright, here you can see that we have a checkbox control. What it does is making the hand move like a spring. Fluctuation is really, really smooth when this checkbox is on. When he makes a move, he slowly comes back like this, like a spring. So remember, set the checkbox and it will work. Alright, and let's see what animation is when you unclick the checkbox. It makes a very tight, very strict motion. No fluctuation at all, just like that. And stop. Alright. So you can do it with any limb. Take the other hand and same functions, same moves as the one you used before. Same goes for legs. You can move the legs. It's all anatomically correct. The full skeleton Nikolai looks like a real person and he can be a star in your video. Just drag him with your mouse. Also we have torso right here and you can move the whole body, make him dance. And we have this object which I call sky, which makes Nikolai, well, fly in the sky. And lean and do everything you want. Also we have, uh, okay, let's, we have an object called ground, alright, so he can jump. Or just lean his legs in the direction that you desire. Very nice. And finally we have scale, which is basically scale. You can upscale it, downscale it, make him bigger, make him smaller. A universal control for scale. Everything is customizable so you can remove the glasses. And now let's move to the face system. As you can see, every element is highly customizable. You can change about everything in here. And so let's start with with his eyes. In regards to the eye, you can set it to blink, which is basically two eyes closing, and you can set it to wink, which is just one eye. He's winking at us. All right. This controller here can help you to change the color of his eyes to the one you prefer. Let's have him. Let's make him werewolfish. No, well. All right. Here's the controller for the eyes, which can help us to change the position of what he is looking at. So if we remove his glasses, we can see that he is looking at something on his right. Now he is looking at something on his left. Very easy to see on the main composition. Eyes can go left and right, up and down, and you can also do it with your mouse. Every object can be removed, such as the beard, but I do not recommend it. 
because the beard is cool. Without beard he looks just plain ugly. Don't remove the beard, seriously. You can change the color, but don't remove the beard. Okay, now we move to very sophisticated lip system. Before that, I can just show you that lipstick works as well. So we can apply any color to lower and upper lip of Nikolai. Nice lipstick, Nikolai. Now we know how to customize the face, let's move to the speech system. It's the best part of my project. It's unique, you cannot find it in any other project. Okay, here's the checkbox for speech. Speech on, speech on. Whenever the checkbox is on, Nikolai starts to speak. Very lifelike, very easy to do. Also present are a set of emotions such as smile, for instance. Click the checkbox and here is our LOL index, which defines how wide he can smile. The higher the value is, the happier the smile is. Let's test it. I want to import an audio file, a file of your voice, so I take it into my project. Okay, the trick is to open it in waveform. So when a person starts to speak, you can see the peak on the waveform, and so you know he opens his lips, and you click the checkbox whenever this peak shows on the waveform, and you synchronize your keyframes to the waveform to better align when Nikolai has to speak. Okay, a closing checkbox, which means he closes his mouth at this point. Alright, let's make some adjustments. And let's see how it plays out. Okay. As you can see here, another peak and another checkbox for Nikolai to open his lips. He stops speaking and we uncheck the checkbox. Everything is reflected via keyframes. Okay, just a second so I can... Disable the eyelids, alright. Aha! Uh -huh. Some pre rendering. See that? We need to make some adjustments to better align the speech with the actual voice file. Okie dokie. Okay, so let's see how he does it as a whole character. Go back to the main character and hit play. See that? We basically reenact the scene from my presentation. Does just let us push the keyframes to the beginning. Just like that, you created your first scene from your future movie. Let's go back to the face controls. Here you can see the slider called speed, and we can make Nikolai talk really fast, just jabber, tweeting like a madman, if you set it to 50. That is speed. We also have amplitude, which regulates how wide Nikolai opens his 
his mouth. Very wide. Nicholas, stop it, it's rude. Okay, reset that. The other thing, eyebrows. Eyebrows, again, are highly customizable. We have single control for both eyebrows. You can change the color. And you can change their position. If you want to make Nikolai more expressive, you can rotate it, you can up it, you can down it. And let's try to animate that. So we can see him speak it with real emotion. Nikolai says hello here. And we want to make his brows go up at this moment. So let's see 